Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey guys, it's James, James with The Chart Guys. It's Tuesday, August 8th, going to do my nightly video on gold. So gold uh, mentioned that we had an inside candle yesterday and initially broke bear on it, but uh, bulls took over here and closed above the the high of the inside candle by closing above 1265.60. We also regained the ADMA. Um, and admittedly, I had a slight bearish lean on this uh, because of the loss of the of the ADMA on Friday. And because in the past, it's been such a good indicator when we lose the ADMA that we have some downside here. ADMA loss, downside, ADMA loss, downside. Uh, regained it here, lost it, and more downside. So we could be changing trends here and um, this could have been just been consolidation here, pull back, and we could go higher. And what I'm going to look for on this bull break of the inside candle today is going to be a break of today's high at 1271. So if we see a 1271 break, that's going to show me some strength here. I'm going to look for some continuation to break this recent high here at 1280.30. And then again, of course, on the weekly, we need to take out that 1300 level and get up over this recent high of uh, 1298.80. So that's what I'm going to watch for on gold itself. The dollar today. A dollar bounce today was okay, it was decent. We're starting to have a dollar bounce here. Um, and opposite of the gold, we did have a bull break of the inside candle on the dollar too. And uh, Middle East was expecting some weakness, but again, the US dollar Japanese yen is a better, better indicator of which way gold moves. And if you see the US dollar Japanese yen, you can see that the, weak, the bounce is much weaker than on gold. And uh, I'm sorry, on the US dollar uh, solely. Let me remove this drawing real quick the drawing set um, you can see we had a bear break of the inside candle here and so with this US dollar Japanese weakness uh, we're gonna we could potentially see some more upside in, in gold especially if we break that high today uh, that we set and the next supports we're looking at here are gonna be this recent low here um, of 109.84 we look weekly we break 109.84 which was last week's low uh, we're going to look at this next low here at 108.80. And if we break 108.80, we're breaking the trend of setting higher highs on the weekly. I'm sorry, higher lows on the weekly. Um, and that's going to be a bear break for me. Changing the trend. And then, of course, support here at 108.12 is an absolute must hold for the, the um, US dollar Japanese yen bulls. Uh, and you can see that last week we back tested and held. We've, the last three times we've bounced, we bounced off the 50 MA on the US dollar Japanese yen. And currently, on that daily inside candle bear break, we're seeing weakness here and potentially losing this 50 MA finally and could see uh, potential further downside here. And so uh, my, my, my lean on gold is slightly bullish at this point, point with the inside daily candle breaking bull on gold and the uh, inside daily candle on US dollar Japanese yen breaking bear. Um, so those, that's what I'm watching for on, on this candle to the, that started at five, I'm sorry, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the continuation on this inside candle bull break. So we closed above the high of 1265.60. We had a close of 1266.50. And so for bulls to show strength, uh, we want to close or get above 1271, break to a higher high above 1271. Ideally, we'd like to close above 1271, but definitely minimally close above this 4 EMA here on the uh, gold daily chart and see continued upside in gold. So gold could be making a move here back to testing that 1300 level. Uh, we'll see once we break above, if we're able to break, break above this 1280-30 level. Have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow.